Hey everyone, my name is Jenny Man. I'm a solution architect at UiPath. I previously published another video just a couple weeks ago on how to create your own custom ChatGPT that answers questions based on your own custom knowledge base. This video shows a second way to accomplish something similar. Not exactly the same, but for the sake of showing how you can use a different tool to achieve something similar, today I'm going to show you how to use UiPath to implement the same use case which is to analyze call notes from Salesforce in order to help your sales reps close more deals and increase revenue. Instead of using Pinecone to store vector embeddings and estuary flow to sync data from CRMs, we'll be using UiPath to scrape Salesforce for call notes and then analyze the call notes in memory and provide a recommendation by calling on the OpenAI API. This video was put together to enter the 2023 UiPath Hackathon along with another video in this channel. Um, feel free to check that out as well. I hope you guys like it. Uh, let me know what you think. Here's my team, me and my dog, Boba, for critical moral support. Lots of companies today have a huge knowledge base in Slack that they're not tapping into, and it's a big missed opportunity. Same thing with CRM tools like Salesforce. There's a huge knowledge base in Salesforce for any company that uses it. In this demo, we're gonna show one cool use of it. Before I dive into that, I would like to quickly recap the current state of ChatGPT and why our solution that I'll be going over today will be an enhancement. Here's a problem statement. Context is everything. ChatGPT is most helpful when provided with context. GPT-3 is based on outdated data from September 2021 and before. Now, a custom chat GPT that pulls data from a custom knowledge base solves the above problems. Existing solutions in the market mostly require using data from static documents. There are a few tutorials out there on how to build your own chat GPT that pulls from your own knowledge base, but they're all based on static documents or a static data source. So you would have to constantly update your inputs and whenever you have a new document added to your knowledge base, you would have to manually add it to the location where your code pulls from. The manual maintenance really makes it not a viable solution for business use. Now UiPath can automate the steps to provide context to ChatGPT, opening up a world of high value innovative use cases, such as asking ChatGPT to give sales reps personalized recommendations to help close deals based on call notes pulled from CRMs, which is what I'm gonna show today. Here's the solution. The idea is to go to Salesforce, scrape the CRM for call notes, then have OpenAI analyze the call notes and provide specific recommendations per sales rep on how to close their respective deals. This process can be scheduled to run weekly to provide weekly personalized feedback and recommendations to your sales team. Our target user is corporate sales teams. User department is sales. Products used are UiPath Studio, unattended robot, we're also using OpenAI API and the OpenAI UiPath connector built by UiPath. Let us watch a quick demo. Here I have a test account in Salesforce where I've mocked up some call notes. Let's run the workflow. What you're seeing now is the UiPath bot is running, is grabbing all of the call notes from Salesforce. When it's done, it'll feed the notes to OpenAI by calling the OpenAI API behind the scene. Then ask the simple question of, based on the call notes, what improvements can each sales rep make to close their deals? Give a recommendation for each sales rep. In a minute, we'll see the response that it'll generate.
Now, here's what OpenAI comes back with. Mark Davis, ensure that the detailed comparison document is delivered to Samantha Roberts within the deadline as promised. Additionally, provide assurance regarding continued support and maintenance to guarantee that Samantha will feel confident in selecting Global Solutions, Inc. David Rodriguez, make sure to include all relevant customizations discussed in the proposal and be available to address any questions, yada, yada, yada. As you can see, the recommendation is personalized for each sales representative. Now, of course, it doesn't have to come back in the form of a giant text box like this. It can go into a report. It can go into an email. It can go back to another field in Salesforce. In execution, it's whichever way easiest to the users of the automation. But just to show you the idea. I really think this is a compelling use case for many, many companies out there that have wasted knowledge base that they should really be tapping into and getting lots of value from. Now, let's take a quick look at the solution. Let's have a quick break. Have you ever had a feeling that ads are reading your mind? It's because advertisers are constantly invading your cyberspace, looking through your internet history and getting hold of your most intimate data. Now you can get your privacy back with Surfshark VPN. It blocks invasive targeted ads and shields you from web trackers that gather your data. Additionally, it protects you from viruses, keeping you safe, and prevents your identity from getting stolen. But in my opinion, the best benefit is you can connect to other countries' networks to watch shows that you wouldn't otherwise have access to. You can also sign up for Netflix in a country with lower subscription fees, and that easily makes Surfshark pay for itself. For work, I actually had to use VPN once to overcome some restrictions in order to complete a work project. And regardless of how many devices you have, you just need one account to give all those devices access. And Surfshark is one of the cheapest out there. It's running a limited time promotion right now. If you use the link in the description box below, you'll receive an exclusive discount plus your first couple months free. And there's a money back guarantee if you're not happy for any reason. So give it a try. And now let's get back to our learning. In the beginning, we're going to use Salesforce to get the text of all of the call notes. And then we're consolidating them into one input string variable, consolidated call notes. Then we pass this to the generate chat completion activity along with the prompt based on the call notes, what improvements can each sales rep make to close their deals? Give a recommendation for each sales rep. In the properties here, I can give additional context in the instruction field if needed. I can choose a model. Um, I just picked 3.5 because it's free and we really don't need GPT-4 for this purpose since we're feeding in very specific context and 3.5 is doing well enough. I can adjust other things like temperature, but I'm just gonna use the defaults for everything. A note here is, in this case, I've decided to use this generate chat completion activity developed by UiPath, which I configured on the cloud through UiPath integration service. All I needed to do was select a connector, add the connection by adding the API key, Uh, the success status here indicates that it's all connected. If I don't have an OpenAI API key, alternatively, I can also just use the UI automation to automate through the front end of the ChatGPT web page. Then we output the text response from OpenAI. Now, what I've just shown you is just a proof of concept, there are a few things that we can do to improve the overall experience and make this application truly production ready. And perhaps these can be included in the next iteration of this project. First, as I mentioned, the feedback recommendations can go into a scheduled weekly report or be presented in other formats. Secondly, um, I briefly alluded to in the very beginning, we can have the bot pull from multiple knowledge bases in addition to Salesforce, for example, Slack. In terms of the technical, tactical details, we should make the workflow scalable for large knowledge bases. Currently, the workflow relies on some UI clicks to retrieve the call notes. If there's a huge knowledge base, this can take a while. 
For production use, we should definitely consider scalability when designing the solution and use reusable components, for example. And lastly, along the same line, we should add exception handling to the workflow to improve robustness and smooth execution. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel for upcoming content on how to start or build a career in tech, how to automate using low-code RPA, how to build real-time low-code data pipelines, and other tech content.